Hey, good morning, friends, and happy Monday to you. I'm here at the gym, just starting, starting the week and getting back in the gym, preparing for a really amazing week. We're headed out to uh, the training center tomorrow. They, they're starting this morning. Can't wait to join them online and then I'll be there physically with them tomorrow. And so I wanted to share just a couple things. There's so much going on in our world these days. And, you know, it's such a challenge to keep your heart at rest. And so what's so fascinating, I kind of shared this uh, last week when we talked about churches uniting in cities and releasing their sound through worship and prayer and unity. But, you know, there's still so much goodness in the world. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Alvita. Good to see you guys today. And uh, what's so fascinating, you know, and, and I want you to catch this. It's like uh, this the social media world versus reality is we know it's so different in many ways. And um, it's just fascinating traveling around and being different places and recognizing, you know, people are still filled with the goodness of God. There's there's kind-hearted, thoughtful people everywhere. You see all these images on social media, you know, tearing down statues. And I know all those things are going on. I'm not in denial about that. But there's so much goodness all over our, our world. Uh, so good to see you, Alvita. And so what I really wanted to share was this verse I read this morning, and it was so good. It says this, now Deuteronomy is such a great book because it talks about, you know, if you do this, you'll be blessed. If you do this, you'll be cursed. And it's just very, very straightforward in that. And then at the very end, Moses is going around and he's blessing all 12 of the tribes. And this one that he shares with Benjamin just leaped off the page for me and for you today. I believe this is for you. When I read it, I was like, I have got to memorize this. And so this is what it says. Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him, for he shields him all day long. And the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. And so interesting, that word rest is actually used twice here. And this is what it means in the Hebrew. It says to reside inhabit, dwell, abide, to settle upon the pillar and the cloud. Most of the time when this word is used, it's actually talking about God as the subject. And so let me read this again. Let the beloved of the Lord rest, abide, dwell, secure in him, for he shields him all day long. And the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. Uh, Greg, that is Deuteronomy 33, 12. And uh, it's really fascinating again. But when I read this, I just thought that this is something I need to memorize, especially with all the upheaval and chaos all around us. Like, we can rest in him. You know, we can abide in him. John talks about abiding in the vine. And so resting isn't always like we're laying in our bed or we're laying on the beach or we're laying on the couch. But a position of rest, you know, we still continue to build his kingdom. We still continue to put our hands to the plow. Good morning, Shana. We still continue to put our hands to the plow, but we literally do this from a position of rest. And many things will try to pull you out of that rest. You know, as a therapist, what's so fascinating to me is this fight and flight mode that we're hardwired with. And so if we feel any kind of fear or we feel any kind of trauma, the fight and flight, they literally start going off, right? And in that moment, it's hard to even think clearly because you're being um, 
God's hardwired us with this fight or flight and adrenaline's pumping through your body and all of these things are going on. But when we know that our position of abiding in him is a heart at rest, we are secure and that fight or flight isn't going off because we're so secure in him and we're resting in him. And so I wanted to really just, it challenged me today. I was like, this is something I need to memorize. Let the beloved of the Lord, beloved, beloved, that's you. Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him for he shields him all day long. And the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. And so this week we get to position ourselves in rest and we trust that our father, we just celebrated Father's Day, our father is going to shield us all day long and we literally rest between his shoulders. We literally build the kingdom. If you're a builder like me, we literally build the kingdom from this position of rest, not from a position of a fear, not from a position of, oh my world, the world is falling apart. We're desperate. We got to get going. You know, it's this position of rest. And so uh, let's just go ahead and pray. Good morning, Leisha. It's so good to see you, friend. Love you, Rebecca. So, Father, I just thank you for this promise out of Deuteronomy. Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him. And God, I pray that over every single listener. So many of us are hardwired with this high sensitivity, high feeler, high creativity. And so we literally feel the anarchy, the chaos, uh, just everything all around us. I remember uh, Ryan Hirschberger, a good friend here in Toledo, telling me that they went to one of the riots downtown and they wanted to just bring the light of Christ. But the evil and the darkness was so thick. As he said, we could just feel it. It was crazy. And so God, high feelers, sometimes when we feel things, it's like it gets us going internally. That fight or flight response turns on. But I'm asking through the, the supernatural power of your Holy Spirit, God, that we would rest secure in you. I thank you, God, that you gave us this promise, that you shield us all day long. And so, Father, I ask over every single listener that we would start our week and remain in a position of rest. You're our defender. You're our shield and buckler, oh God. We thank you and we praise you, God, that we rest in you. It's in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. That is good, Rebecca, between his shoulders. I, I was thinking of sharing that today, but that might be a part two, or you can share it later this afternoon. <laughs> hey, I love you guys, and I just, you know, the joy of the Lord is our strength. We don't live in denial about what's going on in our world, but don't absorb it. And when you do, you know, make sure you squeeze that sponge out and come back to that position of rest and joy and love and peace. And um, you know what? He's got this. He's totally got this. He's got our nation. He has our cities. And we get to rest in him and release the sound that he's given us. I hope you have an amazing week, Greg. So good to see you. I'll see you soon. And I hope to see you online this week. I'll be teaching a few times at the training center. And so we'll be doing a gathering. And I would love to see you guys online with us. There's just some really rich content, um, not necessarily my own, but from Jeremiah Bullock and Chad Seabright and Rob McCorkle, just some rich content about city transformation. And so if you're one of these that is a city taker, you want to take your cities back for, for Christ, um, you're ready to exit the building, meaning, you know, minister outside the four walls of a church, you know, join us online. We would love to see you guys this week. I'll, I'll see you soon. Bless you.